what's up? Welcome back. We should jam sometime here with the Jailbirds. How's everybody doing? Good. Yeah, and you guys just want to like introduce yourselves down the line, maybe? We'll sure. go from there. Yeah, I'm Eric. <laughs> I'm the drummer of Jailbirds. Uh, do some backup vocals. Sweet. I'm Mike. I uh, play guitar and I sing. Lead vocals, I guess, yeah. And I'm Liam. I do bass. Right. And I do some backup vocals on the side. Perfect. Right on. So uh, let's kind of go maybe from the beginning. So Mike, you were uh, MIA, right? Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I did MIA in 2014. Okay. So you graduated in 2014 or graduated in 2015? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, fair I think enough. it's 2014. Okay, okay yeah, cool. It's sure. been a while. Yeah, it's been pretty a while. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> it's always like, I always, I never, you never think about that kind of thing. And yeah. I always think like, oh yeah, it was like two years ago. Yeah, yeah. Someone will be like, no, that was like fucking four years ago. I'll be like, oh shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm old. Apparently. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I remember getting to that point where like, I could remember stuff like 10 years ago. Like, yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. I'm getting there. You but, say, oh, yeah. 10 years ago. Oh, yeah. Wait, yeah. Fuck. yeah. <laughs> that, that wasn't a thing before. Is that right the 90s? On. Yeah. <laughs> the 90s was like 20 years ago, man. Like, what the hell? So uh, how long has the Jailbirds been going then? How did that kind of come together? Almost three years. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. Sort of three years, though. Because, like, our our sort of beginning was a five-piece. And it was a different band that Liam and I were in together. Okay. And it was some other people that were in it. And it's sort of, the sound kind of changed just because of our tastes changing. Like, we were, we were more of, like, a modern hard rock kind of band. Okay. More like Alter Bridge kind of stuff, right. I guess you could say. Okay. And we just changed everything, because, like, the singer didn't want to sing anymore, and then uh, the drummer left, and then, you know, a whole bunch of shit yeah. happened, and then... Uh, can we swear on this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sure. okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no Breathe. pressure. It's all good. Breathe. Um... But yeah, we started out as a five piece. We had a keyboard player, two guitars, and uh, including myself. And right. And basically, long story short, they just left because they yeah. they weren't as into it as we are. And right. That's, that's the fine. That's great. Rearrange. Yeah. yeah. Like nothing wrong with it. It just it was just it was an organic thing, and it just happened. And then we were actually going to be replacing these guys, but eventually we just we jammed so much, like three four times a week. Yeah. That. When they left, we just kind of like, and they had already been absent a little bit before they left anyway. Right. So once we were jamming for three, four months as a three piece, we're like, we added a new guy to audition or whatever. Yeah. And it sounded weird. And yeah. We were like, wait, what? Because <laughs> like, we'd already finished kind of morphing it. Exactly. Into, right. We'd, we'd screw with our amps already. We kind of figured out how to fill the space right. without them there, without yeah. even realizing it. Yeah. Yeah. And then when we brought someone in, it was like, wait, now we have to reconstruct everything right. again. And it was just like, and then on the on top of that, we couldn't find anybody that really was what we were looking for. And so right. we just went, fuck it, let's just be a three piece. Yeah. And so as a three piece, technically like almost two years. Okay, cool. Yeah. And so it was almost a fresh start at that point anyway, because um, it we had to rearrange a bunch of our songs basically right, because right. this organ part or something was like a lead line and I'm like fuck now like that's yeah. not there and I yeah. gotta figure out how to do that and my thing at the same time right. and like with the bass too and like it was just it took some rearranging yeah, and, yeah for sure we just settled on three piece right on and we're totally happy with it yeah not settled I shouldn't say yeah. settled yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no that's awesome and like I think that's a good challenge like to fill that void and like you gotta find the space and everything like my band I played guitar for the first little bit and, like, I just had, like, old equipment and not really, like, the means to replace it. Mm -hmm. And I wanted just to front a band anyway. And we were playing a show and, like, my shit just, like, middle of the set just, like, went out. And I was like, well, here we fucking go. <laughs> and did, did the front man thing. Because, like, the band wasn't sure if that's what we wanted to do, right, yeah. to drop mm -hmm. the guitar. Mm -hmm. And it made perfect sense because, like, Nick and Hayden play so well together and play off right. of each other so well that it didn't really fuck us up that much. So, like... To have to switch it up, right? So, Sweet. Yeah. yeah. It it's almost a, makes it better. Like, yeah. Because, like, it, it's just more room to breathe. Yeah. Right? And yeah. you have to, like, really be more creative sometimes than just right. exactly. doing the stuff you're supposed to do, exactly. right? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Cool. So then you guys uh, did some recording at Emac. And then how long ago did you do? Were you in there? About two years. Oh, really? Literally. We, we, two years ago, we were... Sorry. Two years ago, we did it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, wow. We were in there for, like, a week. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, that was a month after... The fourth member of our band quit. Yeah. Oh, interesting. And so, organ player dropped out. Like, right. We were gonna. I think we were gonna do some different <laughs> songs too. Until and then he did that, and then we were like, like I was saying, we had to rearrange a bunch of shit. Yeah. And so we kind of went. 
a few of them worked and then I think maybe one or two of them we had to we only did four songs anyway but like we had we picked different ones because then we we still had to rework a bunch of shit it was right only a month that we yeah had, right so yeah we didn't want to we didn't want to go in there subpar because we, we yeah. wanted to go in there prepared obviously right we, we knew 80 percent of what we did in there like when we walked in the door we knew what we wanted and then we kind of let the rest of it kind of breathe and yeah just like it yeah. fell into place right and Matt Matt's great at doing that too he told us that kind of stuff and reminded us during the week that we were there you know just let it kind of pull pull you through it right the pro the process will like pull you through itself in a way you know right. what I mean and, yeah and it, sure enough like yeah things like just kind of came up like we weren't trying like not I don't say we weren't trying hard but like we weren't trying hard you know yeah what I mean? like we yeah, were just totally. kind of going oh yeah what about this what about that you know we were we were open to experimentation right and so like you know cool things happened when like Matt was like oh I just remembered I have a buddy who has a buddy who has this 1981 or something Silver Burst Les Paul Custom <laughs> right. let's give him a shout and yeah, we're like right. okay sure yeah. <laughs> and like because we were trying to get a lead part a lead thing for one of the songs and we're just like you know it'd be great is one of those and yeah. was, hey wait I know a guy that knows a guy and yeah. sure enough he brings it to the studio that night and we actually within like an hour and a half no yeah. shit like, it, was, it was fucked it was like it was yeah it was dumb that's hilarious. So many things like that. Little, little, yeah. little fucking special things like that happen. Yeah. It was cool. That's yeah. awesome. It was, uh, well, I wanted to, like, kind of ask you guys, because obviously you didn't come out of, up out of nowhere, but it's, it's felt like from my perspective, like, all of a sudden, everybody's like, have you heard of this fucking band? Like, have you heard this band? But uh, the first time I actually heard you guys was at 8 a.m. in Rob Nation's class, because he was checking your mixes when he was mastering it at like 8 a.m. <laughs> nice. So we like, everybody comes in all groggy eyed and you like open the studio two door and we're like, what the fuck? And then like Rob doesn't say anything for like 10 minutes and he's just like doing his thing. And then he like shuts everything off and turns around and everybody's like, what's going on? <laughs> what the hell <laughs> that? <laughs> so it was kind of funny. And then like shortly after that, like I just saw you guys popping up at everywhere. So like, so you've been sitting on these mixes, obviously, for a while. So what's kind of... We've had the final mix since February. Right. Okay. So, yeah. But, like, there was, like, like that whole week we got, like, the main parts down, and then we went back and did the vocals. Okay, cool. Right, right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just exactly. making sure, like, we, like, we were set on it. And, like For know. sure. Yeah. So then, uh, so, like, what, when did the decision come when you guys were like all right and it's time to like get out there like have you been like kind of playing shows or like this sort of like tour and stuff you guys have been doing was that like this is when we're gonna kind of launch this thing out for um, everybody to hear the the way we planned it was we decided that we wanted to record in august of 2016 okay and so i sort of had the the initial idea and i brought it to everybody and i said i think that we should go to the studio and do it with Matt because I knew he was fucking dope and yeah. he exceeded everybody's expectations. Yeah. I knew he was good, but he's fucking like, <laughs> really, uh, like I can't, Matt's there's no yeah, word he's, for he's, it. Yeah, you know? he's, he's just real. so fucking good at yeah. what he does and he's just amazing to work with. Too. Yeah. That's like, that's the the real special part about him is because like he just want to be around that guy. Yeah. And he's fucking good. Yeah. So like, it's great. Totally. But so anyway, came up with the idea to do it in 2016, August, and then we basically saved up a bunch of money and then um, shortly after we decided to do that in August, the fifth member quit um, just because that was sort of the the uh, uh, pedestal or, or like the, the no point of no return almost. You know right. what I mean? Like this is going to be... This is what's happening. This is the commitment you got to make. It's yeah, serious. Yeah, yeah. You, know, yeah. you know what I mean? It's, it's go just, time. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. He was just more in fun and you know, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, the other guy quit a month before we went to EMAC. I think we went in March of 2017 mm. for a okay. week. We went there for five days. A week, and then we went back. We went back later in July. In the year. Oh, okay. Yeah. July for some vocals, and then November for the other vocals. Cause we did, yeah, we, we ended up running out of time. Yeah. Right. Vocals, because we spent a lot of time. Like we, getting the nice, yeah. nice tones on yeah, the yeah. and everything, and it was yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was the important part. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. So, yeah. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> Yeah, but we've been playing shows since Ju June 2016. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like so some of the stuff on the EP, uh, we've been playing for as long as the Jailbirds have been a band, and some a, a little bit even before. Oh, and these wow. songs were still in the early, early stages. Right. But the other band that yeah. I referred to earlier. Yeah. Yeah, a couple of them were kind of in that band, sort of. 
Wow. We were written when we were like 19. Mm. So, and now we're, now we're 24 now. So right. Like, it's been a while. Yeah, for but, sure. But yeah. No, we've been playing, to answer your question, I guess, we, we were playing show. we've been playing shows since we started, just to, because we wanted to, when we put, we knew that we wanted to make an EP that was really, like, surprising. And, right. And mm. sort of, like, where did this band come from? Right. Right? Like, yeah. most first EPs don't sound like, ours do just we literally spent a, spent the money on it just to do it like yeah. that because we wanted to set aside ourselves from everybody else right right which is kind of the only way to do it in my opinion yeah. nowadays especially because there's so much shit coming out there's so right. much content right and there's so much good shit coming out too you got to find a way to yeah. kind yeah. of poke out and so we wanted to make something that we we were proud of right and like sonically and all that kind of shit we didn't compromise on that at all um, we basically and, said like we want to come out of the gate swinging right yeah, yeah exactly. for sure yeah and yeah we've been playing shows in order to prepare for when we do release it then we're also right tight you're, live yeah you're a good live band we're, right we're, yeah. we're up there with that stuff too right so yeah right on yeah. so then uh, just kind of like building on that a little bit um, you guys have been just riding the one single for a while so is that all part of the plan and kind of that comes up a lot on this uh, everybody has different Mm-hmm. marketing techniques and everything right. so i just wanted to kind of like wanted to pick your brain a little bit about that of like just really like riding like the black river wave right it's kind of oh, i didn't mean to do that but that was kind of like a little play on it. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> but yeah i wanted to kind of ask you about that and sort of yeah. what the plan was there um to be honest that was just we there was not much thought right and it was black just, river was the favorite out of the four yeah. that we kind of all agreed on so the ep is called the black river only yeah. because that when we were putting the artwork together, we wanted to just call it Jailbirds. Right. And then it's a first EP, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And we were just like, whatever, let's just have our name on it. Who cares? And then people people started to... There was little things that happened to us where people like pointed out that that was their favorite one. Okay. Not specifically saying it. Like right. We were, we were listening to it in a different studio once just when we got some mixes back and there was this guy... We don't know who he was. He was just in the stu- in the other room doing his thing. And he walks in when River was playing. And he's like bobbing his head. And like, again, like we don't know who he is. Just yeah. walks in the room. Yeah. And he just, after the song, he's like, that's a really great song. I like that one a lot. And we were just like, that, you know, thank you. And he fucks off. Yeah. <laughs> and, he left. and he left, right? And like before that one, we played the other three. And he walked in for that one and said that about that one. And so like there was a couple other things that, that happened like that. And even the artwork, the artist who did the, the cover, um, sent me back like a, a mock up and right. he had titled the cover the Black River. Oh okay. And we were like, we should probably just cut call it the Black River. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fuck fuck it. Just that. <laughs> and so then we put out the song and then we were gonna actually put out another one like a month later, but then Yeah, we had the plan like month or two months. Right. Kind of thing we would tease the next song right. and then do like lot or like uh, download codes at our at our shows to right. get the song in advance. Right. And mm-hmm. Kind mm-hmm. of thing. Yeah, um, exactly. Yeah, but people but, have been asking for it, so right. We've got actually another one coming up next Friday. Okay, cool. It's, it's um, the second single, and then the the full thing is going to come out um, in November. Okay, th- cool. We think. Okay, uh, <laughs> probably like likely. It's yeah, going to, because we're waiting on. Um, there's we're working with a a new label or whatever, and then they're trying to plan like a show. Yeah. Um, and so we're just kind of waiting to see when that will be and see right. if we can line it up. But it'll right. most likely be. November when it's yeah. when it's available right. on, online and stuff like that. Wicked. Yeah. But yeah, honestly, to answer your question, like not, it wasn't a super huge plan. Like we kind of went, we, I got advice from a whole bunch of different people. Yeah. And like I, I was talking to a bunch of people and they all kind of said different shit. Yeah. And so then I was like, great. I don't know. What to yeah. Do. <laughs> <laughs> and so I just put out one song and, and said, let's just kind of take it from there. Yeah. And then here we are. That's the thing with like <laughs> doing this for me is like, it is sort of like a gateway into everybody's head a little bit for like my own band, but yeah, everybody's got different things. Yeah. And a lot of it too is just like out of your control kind of like totally. once, once you put it out there, like, mm-hmm. you know, if pe- people are going to listen to it or they're not, as long as yeah. you're like doing your part to promote it. Right. Exactly. So right. yeah. yeah. Right. But, uh, yeah. So then what's the plan when the EP comes out? Do you have any, have you thought past that yet or? Yeah. yeah we're getting better at thinking ahead now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But we're gonna we're gonna do a tour and stuff like that, and, right. and just we're we're mainly trying to just play a bunch around Toronto and yeah. uh, hit up like the 
GTA areas and then plan a, you know, a couple times or more a year or so to, to get out to places like here in London or, right. or, or Ottawa or something like that, right? Because, yeah. like, we, we have good response in Ottawa and we have a good time out there. And That's so awesome. Ottawa's always It's hard to get out there, though, right? It's, right, yeah. It's far away. It's a trek. But yeah, we totally. things around it, right? We all work full time. Yeah. Um, until my, until this starts paying our bills, you know? Yeah, we gotta, definitely. We gotta be careful with that kind of shit. Yeah. Unfortunately, right? Yeah, but, you definitely. Know, uh, but yeah, that's kind of what we've got planned in that regard. And then we're already planning the next EP, so right. we're, we're getting back. Working what songs go with what. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's what's funny, like when you get the EP out finally, and you're like, yeah, all these, we're bored of these songs now. Exactly. <laughs> that's, kind of, that's kind of what happened. Yeah. We had these four songs recorded, and then we started making new shit. Yeah. Like, this new stuff yeah. kind of like, <laughs> yeah. we should have put so this on the better. EP. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah, I totally know that film. My band just put our EP out like a month ago, and we're just like, all those songs have been like since we got together. Right? Exactly. So we're like, the first one, the new like stuff. That. It's yeah. new and exciting to everybody yeah. but us. Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, totally. But that's awesome. So you got like the most of the new one written? Or are you kind of just like all seeing the, what happens? Have, yeah, you know what's going on with that? We huh? could do a full length or more really at this point. Right. We have like a, we, we always are like, the, the songs that we recorded at Emac were written like a year before we even went in there. Right. And we've made, and we've made lots of songs since then. Yeah. Um, and we, we scrap songs all the time too. Yeah. Like, you know, we'll, we'll work on something for a bit and if it's not right, kind of like if it's not vibing right away, yeah. we kind of, eh, whatever, throw it away and then come back to it later maybe. Like we had a song the other day where we were just playing this riff from a year or two ago or something right. and something else came out just out of the blue that happens sometimes, right? And, yeah. And then so we always just kind of roll with it if it's rolling. Yeah. And um, we don't try to force it and then we have no problem with scrapping songs. We right. scrapped probably more than we have. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just That's because, important, like, I think, to we don't wanna... know when to stop. Yeah, 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 yeah like, exactly. We like, want to enjoy what we're playing, yeah. too. Like, and, like, the, hopefully the fans, like, you know, the people see that, too. Like, yeah, definitely. Like, it's going to go back and forth. and Exactly. Yeah, for uh, sure. We're critical of ourselves in that way, yeah. in a healthy way, I think. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, we're, we, we'll play it live, we'll do this and that, we'll change it, and then if it's just not working, we'll just say, you know, yeah. I personally, okay. yeah. on the outside of this, I wouldn't listen to this. Yeah. This would be the song I would skip. Yeah. yeah. So why the fuck would we record it? Yeah. You know what I mean? Just yeah. Throw it away. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. yeah, that's really important. I, I remember when we were uh, first getting together, like, the first, like, few songs we wrote were just, like, all good. And yeah. then we had, like, the one where it was, like, a struggle to finish it. Yeah. And I was like, why are we, why are we doing this then? Yeah. Let's just yeah. move on. Yeah, <laughs> What's exactly. the point in, like, wrecking our brain to think of the next part when it's just not yeah. working? Like, it's all good. Exactly. But, uh, yeah, so then are you guys, is that how you write songs then? Like, you guys just getting together and jamming and go from there? Or what's sort of the process? Like? It's usually most, how it starts. Like, most uh, of the time. It's usually, like, a, like a riff off of, like, a jam. Like, we'll just... Sometimes me and Liam will start something, or right. Michael come in with a riff, and then we just kind of build off that, and then. Right on. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. Uh, <laughs> like, <laughs> it used to be different. Like, it used to be sort of like, I mean, sometimes if something comes to me, like a verse, and this could be the opening riff or something like that. I used to do that more, like the songs on this EP right. that we're putting out was like I had written most of it and kind of brought it and said, here's my idea for a song rather than just right. me coming to rehearsal and playing a riff that I came up with the other day or something, right. which is what it's turned into now. Yeah. Um, most of most of the stuff that we have, yeah, is, is just written based on um, we come in and we're all there and I'm just playing something or Liam's playing something, whatever it is, and, and we just kind of go with it. Wicked. and see what happens right on yeah. there, there was a time we were jamming and it was like within the 20-25 minute we like basically written three different songs like, right on <laughs> yeah, it, was like, it was getting a little bit scary yeah. Yeah. Had, like, we were a, smoking a lot of <laughs> we were pretty <laughs> during the summer we had like 40 songs on yeah. the go like 40 <laughs> riffs to work through we were like okay, enough we, enough. Yeah, yeah. We, couldn't, we couldn't keep up with it honestly yeah. like, we had a board of it and we were like what the fuck are even half of these like, yeah. we would have like it on we our gave phone gave like stupid and, names yeah yeah St. Rich what? <laughs> yeah. what the fuck yeah I got crazy that's what it is yeah uh, so then is the is the plan uh, next to do just do another EP or you like want to do a full length next um we're gonna sort of plan an EP the same way we did it the first time right um but um that's sort of I guess what we'll plan to do but like right. I mean if, if something were to come up where we could do more songs then we would be Absolutely. open to it yeah you know yeah yeah um, but we just don't know right now because like there's a few things on the go we're talking to some people and stuff so I don't know maybe they yeah. want us to do more or something I don't know 
Right on. But yeah, I guess like money is also a factor. Money is a, yeah. Full yeah. Factor. yeah. We like we like on, in all honesty, we spend a lot of money on our recordings. Yeah. We just we like I went to obviously you know I was an MIA student. So yeah. I'm not saying like I was I'm a great engineer, but like I have you know I like you know I like yeah. listening to music that yeah. sounds good. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I just I can't. I don't know. It's probably just. The, the audio engineering classes yeah. pointing out all the flaws and yeah. things and then that's all I can fucking focus on yeah. is like, that snare sounds like shit yeah. <laughs> you know and like but if something like Rage Against the Machine is a great example yeah, you, yeah. you turn that on any system and it's the best mix you've ever heard in your life yeah. and it's just like you can't not like that band and that's yeah. definitely part of the reason you know right. because yeah. it sounds so fucking good yeah. even people that don't even care about that shit are like fuck like yeah. this is a <laughs> fucking song you yeah. Know? yeah every one of their songs cause it's all it's all like the mix is like it's almost like a guitar part in a way right because like if you're not putting emotion into the into your your playing your drumming or your yeah. singing or something it's gonna come off right fucking flaccid for lack of a better term yeah and um same thing with mix if you just go ah, oh, whatever here turn this not whatever you know yeah. it's not gonna sure. it's not gonna vibe properly yeah. you know what i mean it's gotta be that's great about matt too he's just it's like an instrument to him yeah so that's good definitely yeah. definitely did you have any bands or anything when you were in mia oh yeah um <laughs> nothing nothing yet I think we call that okay. I don't know and then our band too was called Peace of Mind Peace of Mind we recorded oh, an EP oh nice at Studio 2 right on we, we kind of just went in there and did that uh, but yeah like all of our I didn't really play outside of that band that much just right because I was kind of just tunnel vision on right my own shit yeah which is, which is a bad thing I didn't I, didn't, I regret that a little bit but, like, <laughs> uh, but whatever yeah it's a lot of learning when you're when you're in the in school, or oh, whatever. it's like, it's crazy. It's a lot of trial and error. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You gotta so. you gotta fuck it up. Too, yeah. You know what I mean. You have to do it and then get it back. And you're like, this is awful. Yeah. You know? And then you're like, I won't I won't do this the next time. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. It's the only way to do something. You know. Yeah. It's just fuck it up. For sure. Over and over. So uh, how did the uh, how the tour go in the summer? Like I guess it's like te- kind of just wrapping up now. You just did like a couple shows every month. It's so right? like so how it went. Like I mean. It's not like day after day we're playing, but mm-hmm. like we're just kind of, it's still out technically going. Yeah. We got like six or seven shows booked for November now. Right. And, uh, but yeah, it went really well. It was great. Like we had people, um, once we released that song, before that, you know, it's just we're nobody. Right. right? And, and not that we are a big band now or anything, we're not. And, and But once we put out the song, I noticed people messaging us like, Hey, we're gonna see you at the show. And right. People mm-hmm. are like, "Oh my god, I, I like the song a lot." And I've already people's, I've downloaded people's ears it. started to perk up. Yeah, a bit. yeah. 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 Oh, what's, what's going now on? all of a sudden, yeah. people are messaging us rather yeah. than we're messaging them. And yeah. So it's it's kind of neat. And then people were coming to the shows and, and saying things like, oh, "We've heard the song and we, we really enjoy it and shit." And so that that to me, you know, it went, it went really well. Yeah. Because like yeah. we had a bunch of people. Like we noticed a spark in a way. Yeah. Know, like a spike. I mean. Yeah. And and like attendance and all that kind of shit. And it just keeps getting. It seems to be getting bigger, yeah. even just in this short amount of time. So, right, which is which is really cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's always fun playing in new cities too. We hit Windsor yeah. for the first time. Yep. During oh the yeah. Tour in Windsor, Windsor's pretty fun. Right mm-hmm. on. That, that is. You guys played Fog Lounge. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Correct. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, do you have any like struggles booking or anything like that? Or oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh dude, London's brutal. <laughs> it's yeah. fucking terrible. Yeah. If you're not like, from here. Yeah. yeah. Br- even if you are from here, exactly. but it's a little easier to like smooth people when you're from here. I'd say <laughs> every, I'd be like, you know, I went to school here. Yeah. I, we recorded Basically, here. Basically, resume. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And yeah. nothing. Still yeah. nothing. Like a couple like talks of like what day and then and then no replies and yeah, that's, yeah. That's what, that's those emails are worse than no replies like, exactly when you, when they, like, like, you little, date. exactly <laughs> yeah. exactly then you're like what did i do yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, going through your replies like i don't think i said anything wrong yeah yeah exactly. that's, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's brutal. that was uh we had like a couple of shows right now that we're in the middle of and it was like the amount of like just no responses is like what yeah what's going time. on yeah but no, you gotta yeah. power through it I guess but yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> and, and it's important to remember like all those guys who book those places they get a bajillion yeah. fucking emails a day yeah. and they'll read yours and they'll do what I do and they'll be like they'll read it and go oh I'm gonna get back to that and yeah. then they turn around and they do something else and then it's gone yeah. data dump and it's yeah. fucking out yeah. and then you know everybody does that kind yeah. of thing you know totally I mean? and it's a lot of information to take so yeah, yeah. 
I yeah. can't really imagine. Well, I know, like, uh, like Brandon Needy, who books, like, Rum Runners and everything, um, his thing's, like, he reads the message, or sometimes he'll open, like, his Facebook message just to clear the notification and do the same thing, like, I'll get back to that later, mm-hmm. and he, like, totally forgets. Yeah. Yeah, and it's just, like, yeah, shit like that happens. You gotta, like, f- also find that line between, like, following up and, like, being incredibly annoying. Yeah. <laughs> like, yep. Cause there, there is a line and some people don't like understand where that is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But don't email people every day. No. Do it like once every <laughs> two weeks or yeah. something like that. Like yeah. I just write it down. I send this guy an email on this. Yeah. Day, and then two weeks later or something, I'll, if there's no reply, send it again. Yeah. 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 I mean, it worked well, eventually. Yeah. 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 So. It does work. Well, actually like, yeah. I gave up on London <laughs> And then this show is offered to us. Yeah. <laughs> and then another one next week. Yeah. And then, oh my God. It's yeah. Stupid. I should have just given up quicker. Yeah, for all. What the hell? <laughs> I remember uh, we're doing, we're playing in Oshawa last, or next weekend. And uh, that was like, I think the second show I booked. And it was after like a month of like, I booked like one show. Yeah. And I was like, fuck it, I'll email Oshawa. Not like we're going to get the show anyway. Next guy, day, the guy's like, love to, love to book you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're like, okay, cool. I guess we're going to Wild. Oshawa then. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So uh, that's uh, a, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 He's a super good guy. Yeah. So uh, we'll see how that goes. But it was just kind of funny. That was like, whatever. It's not like we're going to have to drive the three hours. It's totally fine. Yeah. No, so whatever. It's good for next time when I need to like actually book like a big tour. But yeah, it's totally. kind of funny. Yeah. Yeah, man. London's weird. You just got to keep keep trying. You guys are doing a house show next weekend, right? Yeah. 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 Cool. Gatsby House. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Right on. You guys are, are you guys working with them? The, yeah, yeah. They're um they're putting together. Like they did our lyric video. Right. Um. Yeah. I messaged Seth a while ago. Because Matt Grady suggested yeah. I did, uh, yeah. or I, I should, and uh, so I did it, and then just looking for help, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Because like I up, up until we've started to sort of work a little bit with Seth and uh, and Gatsby and, and stuff, and and um, it's it's just because like it it was before before this it was only me doing everything, right? That's and it's important for mm-hmm. one person to kind of yeah. handle that as yeah. well. Somebody's got to drive. It gets unorganized yeah. and shit yeah. if it's not one guy doing it. But anyway, like, or, or one team doing it or something, yeah, right? We, me and Eric would probably book us in butt fuck nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By accident. <laughs> oh, man. We're that... playing in Buffalo tomorrow. What? Yeah. <laughs> man, that, not to cut your story off, but uh, no, no. I remember uh, my buddies. Do you guys know the band Lost in Japan? Yeah. Okay, so they were trying to book a tour last year with, like, one of my buddies' bands. And he books the show and everything, all good, and then realized that it was... A town with the same name as like something around here in Australia. No. And he had to email the guy back and be like, "Yeah, never mind." My God, <laughs> yeah. Australia. Yeah. For oh one date, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Totally crazy. So don't do that. Don't yeah. don't put yourself in a different country. <laughs> that's that's kind of awesome. That's why we leave a little bit. Yeah, I just like let one guy do it. I thought I was bad at this, yeah. but like now I'm feeling a bit better. But yeah. So. <laughs> um, but no. yeah, no, yeah, Gatsby's been helpful so far, and yeah, we're gonna look at booking some shows, or they are gonna look at. We're gonna look at them booking shows for us, is what I mean. Right. <laughs> My words yeah. you can't put them together. Um, but yeah, no, it's it's gonna be good. They seem the uh, eager and excited about it, so right that's on. that's exciting for us because um, it's important to have someone on your team that likes your music first yeah. of all and actually wants to do the things that you need you know what i mean like someone that has a passion for music business for sure and like i don't have yeah. a passion for music <laughs> yeah. business but that's why i play you know yeah. what i mean like um and so for a while it's just it's it's so like uh it's it's just tough to yeah do it, to play and to work full-time and then have to do all the managing and booking and yeah. all that shit too which i was fine with doing for a long time and then it just gets like oh man like I, and I'm still doing it myself, but like it's really nice to have someone that helps you with that kind of shit and takes sure. some of that weight off, and yeah. then I can just practice. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you can like do the music. Yeah, yeah you know what I mean. And yeah, it's, it's great for sure. Yeah, because then you like when it's just you doing it too. Like, there's so many things that you're not thinking about because you're yeah. worried about whatever, right? Yeah. Like booking, and then you gotta think about how to market everything. And, yeah, and, yeah, and stuff starts to slip. Yeah, you, know, you can only spread yourself so thin, right? And then, For sure. And then you know this, and I forget this and that, and then I'm like, fuck. And yeah. Then, you know, and, then, and then I'm not practicing. Yeah. And then I notice it. Yeah. And then I'm like getting to rehearsal. I'm like, fuck. I could play this like a month ago. What the hell? And yeah. It's because I'm not doing it enough. Yeah. You know. For sure. And I feel like a lot of people run into that issue, right? And, yeah. And kind of, you just gotta ask, you know. 
Yeah. Like I was getting my dad to help a little bit and you know, and that I, I'm just like, yeah, if anybody's listening to this, like <laughs> experiencing the same thing that I experienced, just ask people. Yeah. Cause they'll totally help you. <laughs> yeah, totally. totally. <laughs> and if they don't, who cares? Yeah. Not that's, a deal. Um, I had a uh, Trevor Dubois here last weekend and, uh, that's what, like, we talked about that a lot of just like, you yeah. just ask people and for the most part, like people will help you. Yeah. And then worst case they don't and you just move on. Somebody else will help you. Yep. But yeah, that was something that like I really had to learn. Even with doing this, like I was just doing people in MIA for a while, having them come in, right? Which was fine. But then I just started asking bands, and it's like, yeah, and nobody said no yet. So totally, yeah. And we'll everyone's willing to help, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah, it's. It, I think it's like it, it's such a personal thing, and you hear so much shit about like yeah, how the state of the music industry. Yeah, you know? it's just like you kind of think to yourself, fuck, like people think I'm an idiot. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right? And yeah. then you go, you kind of feel weird about asking somebody for help. Cause you're kind of like, Hey, I'm doing this thing. That's really dumb. Yeah. You know, there's yeah, that yeah. thing in the back of your head. That's like, am I going to sound like a dumbass yeah. asking for this? Right. And then totally. it's not the case. No. Never. It's just, no. it's, it's in your head. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Um, let's talk about, uh, you guys won the best rock at the Mississauga. We did. Rock, we did. The, yeah. It's awards. Yeah. Yeah, let's talk about it. who else was like nominated and stuff. Just like run me through the the um, night and everything like that. A band called Maybe May. Who? They they played that night too. They uh, they were yeah. playing the just before like they announced the rock winners. Maybe May was playing. Oh, cool. Uh, I think Demetrius. Yeah, he plays in that band. Yeah, he's like the singer, right? Yeah, yeah. And he he runs Mississauga Music as well. Mm. And so his band was up, and uh, the judges were. Um, people that they chose to, to pick the winner not it wasn't Demetrius right and it was right. part just, of the Mississauga Music Council okay right cool. yeah it wasn't like somebody cho- he, I'm not I'm just trying to say like he didn't he didn't there was like a conflict of, yeah, 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 right, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah yeah conflict yeah. of interest right yeah. uh, but then there was a band called One in the Chamber um, and the other one's escaping me right now the other band nominated uh, and then us yeah four oh, bands in general, right including yeah. us and then we went to the thing and yeah, they called our name, and then we were like, fucking sweet. Yeah. We, were, we were going to leave, because they left the best rock till very last. Oh, okay. At the, at the night, we got there at like 6. Yeah. yeah. Best yeah. rock at like 10. 11. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We were about Fuck. like, okay, if they don't yeah. like announce it, we're going to get our coats, and we're, we're fucking gone. Yeah. And then fucking we're yeah. like walking down the stairs, <laughs> yeah. and our name pops up, and we're like, shit! Yeah. 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 No, it was fun. That's wicked. It was good. Yeah, it was a wild night. We were we were there uh, watching all these guys get their awards, and we see everybody. Every time they get an award, they'd go up on stage and they'd be like, "I want to thank everybody for yeah, supporting yeah. me and my family <laughs> yeah. and my friends and the record." And I'm like, looking at Mike and Eric, I'm like, "Don't tell us. We gotta we gotta go do a speech." Yeah, we have nothing. <laughs> yeah. We don't like. <laughs> Thanks. What's up? We didn't know this was happening. Yeah. <laughs> I literally said that too. I actually have a video of me yeah. talking, and, and it was it was funny. Because, yeah, I, I think I literally was like, yeah, I don't know. I'm unprepared right yeah. now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Because, like, yeah, we knew we were nominated, but, like, yeah. we didn't, we, yeah. you know, what are the we, chances? And then, so yeah. we didn't prepare a speech. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I was already down waiting for them because, like, I happened to just be, like, standing there. Yeah. And then, um, and then so when they called their name, like, I was, like, trying to pretend, like, I, like, you know. I'm, I didn't want to go up ahead on my own. I'm like, yeah. I, I don't want to be that guy. Yeah. And then, so I'm just standing there, I'm like waiting for them. I'm like, I hope they like you know yeah. they come around the corner at some point. They, and never, also, they never give me enough time because we're halfway down the stairs. We're up on the second floor there. And, up, <laughs> yeah. and they're like, we're halfway down and they're going, Jailbirds, are you are you here? Yeah. Yeah. Like, Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, give us like 10 seconds yeah. at least. You know, like it's been literally like five seconds. Or like, you're like, oh, I guess they're not yeah. here. Yeah. The next band is going to get it instead. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> no. But yeah. It was, yeah, it's nice. It was nice. It was a fun time. That's cool hilarious. award. It's a yeah. Glass pyramid, very Legit sharp yeah. award. It's like a fuck. Yeah. It's like a pyramid thing and it looks like, uh, what's yeah. that? The, the Bifrost. Okay, cool. Yeah. From, yeah. Um, yeah. Avengers. Yeah. Thor. Thor. Yeah. There, there you go. go. Right on. <laughs> Marvel things. I could be completely wrong. Yeah. Like, oh, it's a cube. And never mind. Cut that out of this. <laughs> I'm gonna look like an idiot. I got Marvel tattoos and I don't even know. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. And I have awesome. one job. 
that, did you guys all get one or you just got one just, and move, just, just, the one. just they were, yeah. move it around just, your houses every so often just, we're in the middle of building a pedestal <laughs> right yeah, oh, there you go that makes yeah. sense yeah. yeah get like a light to shine off on yeah. It. Yeah, the lighting's the hardest part yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's what matters it goes everywhere it's a prison yeah. we're trying to make it like dark side of the moon right of, right yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. We're actually if going. you're gonna do it to it right exactly yeah. that's hilarious exactly you guys got any good like road stories or anything um um, and not to put you on the spot. We're not like, like that. crazy, like unfortunately. We're it's quite kind of... quite the responsible, yeah. uh, <laughs> responsible adults. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I think the craziest that it gets is about my driving. Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's pretty much it. <laughs> I mean, that's not like. I'm like, I'm, I'm like driving, I'm tapping on the steering wheel, probably <laughs> eating or drinking or something, and I'm like, yeah, I can do everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the you know, like the only thing. The wildest thing we've ever done is we've driven to Ottawa and back the same night. Oh, um, damn! Which yeah. is which was under circumstance, which is totally cool. Um, and we fucking drove to Ottawa that day, played the show, and drove back home the same night. And everyone was like, "Are you sure? You're like, you guys are a little fucking nuts." Yeah, but we made it home. So that's kind of like we also worked that day, thing. then uh, drove, yeah. did the show, Jeez. worked the next day. <laughs> damn. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, that's just like the fun of it. I mean, like, yeah. Like, yeah, that's uh, crazy. You know, do what you gotta do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh that's yeah, we don't really drink that much. Right. I don't drink unless like I, I try to drink as far away from a show as possible. Mm-hmm. Right. And so yeah, never really We usually give Eric our drink tickets. Yeah. Right on. Yeah. Yeah, unless he's driving. Unless yeah. he's driving. <laughs> Put that out there too. Yeah. We don't drink and drive. We that's don't do that. We that's drive weird. then drink. Yeah. yeah. As long as you're out of the car, it's all good. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Okay, and then I usually, like, some, like, ending questions I have is, uh, not, again, to put you on the spot, but any, like, local, when I say local, like, Southern Ontario or whatever, uh, bands that you want, like, me to hear, people to hear, that are, like, sort of the same, like, same popularity vibe. level or whatever of you guys. Just, like, guys you played with or just know of. Check oh, out, you really check like. out Onion Face. Uh, Onion, yeah, I Onion love Face Onion, are good Onion friends Face of ours. is really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I saw them Not at Southern uh, Ontario, but... Call the Office uh, a couple months ago. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're killer. They're, they're fucking sweet. Yeah. They're they really got that hard. thing with, like, they turn all the lights off, and then, yeah. that's awesome. They wow. got their own yeah. lighting shit yeah. going on. And, yeah, no, they're really just a good band. Yeah, yeah. they're good like, songs. I know. Yeah. I mean, they're too far away. Next time they come to London, I want to get them on here. Yeah, for sure. They're a lot of fun. Yeah, for sure. We played with Crown Lands. They were up at the Rimfest. Yeah, yeah. Crown Lands Wicked. Um, They've Crown done this, awesome. and we've opened for them before. Super yeah. nice guys too. Man. They're the nicest dudes. Yeah, yeah. they really are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. No, totally. I'm, I'm trying to think of more bands. Yeah. You know, this has happened. I should probably. This should be like a pre-show question. I ask everybody <laughs> this, and they're like, "Where's my phone? Yeah. I need to fucking look it up." But uh, yeah, who likes just some bands you played with that were like wicked in like the last couple? Oh uh, no, it's turn Um, Atomic Bitchwax was. Fucking unreal. <laughs> they're they're, they're the from the states. Though. Yeah, yeah, they're Tom from the states. states. I mean, states. okay, no, cool. There's a there's a band up from from North Bay. They're not again not so yeah, 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 they're but... called they're called Groove. And those okay. guys are pretty wild. Okay, cool. Yeah, they got yeah. some they got some wicked licks going. Nice. Yeah, Groove. sick things was pretty. They're from Montreal. Uh-huh. Cool. Uh huh. We played with them at um, Old Line oh, Sex Club. Okay, and, cool. You know they they have some pretty neat riffs and right on. Um, Mm. There's been a f- um, we haven't played with them, but there's a band called Blind Lips. Oh yeah, I know Blind really, Lips. Yeah, really good too. Right Fuck, on. there's there's just too many. Yeah, I know. That's like <laughs> you go on for days. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's cool though. Blind Lips is good. They did a guest lecture last year. Oh really? Yeah, cool. yeah it was cool. cool. Yeah, they're good guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cool man. Um, who are some bands that are there any bands that you haven't played with? Sort of like similar question. From like around the area or whatever, just from you know wherever they're from. Monster Same track. Yeah, that'd be wicked. There you go. That'd be dope. Like they're coming to Run Runners in a couple months. Yeah. Try yeah. to get on the bill. Mess with GD. See what happens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, we're on. Don't worry. Yeah. Uh, That's awesome. Definitely them. I mean, obviously that. And then, um, yeah. Uh, t- I can never think of fucking names on the spot. Oh man, how yeah. terrible. Okay, are there any like fame, like Dream Bill then? Like Dream any Bill? famous band, oh past or present? Guns and Roses. Oh, yeah, Motley the Crew. We'd have to get on Deep Purple. Yeah. Deep Purple. <laughs> Deep Purple. Oh, so. <laughs> Black Sabbath. Yeah, just... yeah, Black Sabbath would be wicked. Yeah. Just tastic. Mm-hmm. That'd yeah. be great. For real, it would be. Um, if, uh... Yeah, tons of great. Any band like yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, you know, that'd, that'd be fucking sweet. Yeah. Right on. Uh, I don't know. I can't think of any other bands. 
I can never think of it. Dio. Yeah. I can say Dio. Dio. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Open for Dio. Wicked. Um, yeah, I don't know, guys. That's kind of like everything I got written down, I think. Is there anything I didn't touch on that you want to shout out, talk about? Oh, you know what I was going to talk about? Oh. I noticed that you had on your uh, YouTube channel, you had like a studio video mm-hmm. for the Black River. I was wondering, you guys got more of that stuff kind of coming out? We you do. Got, okay, cool. Yeah, we've got four more, or three more. Okay, four just doing one for like every single? Yeah. Right on. And there's that one and the next one um, for those songs. The next one's going to be Away From Home because that's okay. the next single. And cool. And um, that should come out in early November. Put that up. And then uh, that one, there's... Not, um, unfortunately, there wasn't a ton of footage of that song being right. recorded. It's a little bit, but um, the guy who did it, Brock, a friend of ours, and he he um, wasn't there for the recording of the vocals for that one. Right. Um, but the other shit, the other two songs that have yet to be released after that one um, have, like, a ton of cool footage and stuff. Like, I really, we did that just because, like, I've always watched, like, those, like, I don't know if you've ever seen, like, the Event Sevenfold yeah, yeah. fucking studio mm-hmm. thing while they're recording, they're yeah. self-titled and stuff like that. Like, that's the coolest video ever. Yeah. I love videos like that because you, you see, like, the part you hear on the album. That you fucking You see love. him record yeah. it. And you're just yeah. like, that's the coolest shit. I just love that stuff. Yeah. And, like, so Brock actually got some of that stuff where it's, like, that's the actual take. Yeah. And it's just like, there, there it is. That's the video of us recording yeah. the thing here. And so yeah. I just yeah. think it's the coolest thing ever. I think that's the move, especially nowadays, because you have to have like so much content. Oh, yeah. That having content like studio is footage is yeah, really, exactly. really key. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, wicked, guys. I don't know. Like, that's all I got for you. Sweet, though. Cool. Well, all these tonight, have... nobody's going to, it's the show's over if you're watching, but it was probably wicked. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to like maybe plug your dates for that you got coming up? Yeah, sure. Um, we we're playing um, November or sorry, I guess October twenty sixth is at Gatsby House in London, oh across from Fanshawe there, and then November 9th, we're doing Detour Music Hall in St Catharines, and then the fifteenth of November we're painting uh, Painted what? Lady, Painted Lady in Toronto on the fifteenth cool. there, and then uh, November what's the next one. Uh, 24th is Boathouse in Kitchener. Cool. Um, and then the only other thing we have solid right now is on the 8th of December, we're playing in Barry at Fox okay. Lounge. Cool. Um, I think it's called. Yeah. And there will be much more. Right on. Much, cool. Much more. So, come, yeah, go on our website. It's always on our website, um, jailbirdsrockandroll.ca. Cool. Yeah. Is there a story behind the name? Or? Jailbirds? Yeah. Oh, they always make me tell. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you came uh, up with it. So we were trying real hard to figure out a name. Yeah, and this is we we had like big big brainstorming sessions. So we got got together, had the big whiteboard out. Like, yeah, listen to the songs, write down whatever comes to mind. Nothing was kind of working, so we all just kind of went home with it. We're like, what if if anybody comes up with something, give us a shout. Right. So I'm sitting in my basement, and uh, I I hit a huge board, like way too big. Yeah. Board. Um. <laughs> And I'm listening to this song and close my eyes and all I, I, I start picturing this train robbery in progress okay. in like 1915, like Old West. And yeah, I'm like, yeah. yo, this is us. Yeah. This, is, this is Jailbirds right here. Yeah, so yeah. I, I think I'm like, what the fuck is this? So these guys are doing the train robbery and then they get arrested. I'm like, yo, these guys are a bunch of Jailbirds. So yeah. Write that down. Yeah. And, uh circled it like eight times <laughs> just make sure i remember it yeah I pitched it to the guys the next day and they're like that's the one that's the song right on so nothing we've never been to jail yeah, yeah. crazy <laughs> like that um definitely not birds full disclosure yeah <laughs> we are yeah. not in fact birds yeah right just on. a really cool. good trip right on yeah <laughs> perfect yeah cool all right guys well thanks for doing this no, no thanks thank for, you have thanks a killer show nice. tonight yeah, uh, thanks, man. Yeah, and jailbirds on social media yeah. and stuff. <laughs> there you go. All right, cool. <laughs>